In addition to all the automatic controls included by GeneXus in the applications it generates, sometimes users request some specific controls. In transactions, the rules that must be complied with, or the controls that must be made, are defined in the rules section. If, for example, a requirement is not to allow storing products without a name, GeneXus offers a rule called error that enables you to avoid that. From the product transaction, we'll go to the rules section and type the following, error, parenthesis, quotation marks for the message we want to display, and the text, the product name, cannot be empty. We close parenthesis. Also, we define when we want this message to be executed. It will be when product name is empty. So we type, if product name, period, is empty. We close the rule with a semicolon and then press F5 so that GeneXus saves and evaluates the new definitions included in the knowledge base. In this case, it will infer that it isn't necessary to modify the database so it won't show an impact analysis report. GeneXus will generate the necessary code and execute the application updated with the new definitions. We we'll run the product transaction. Let's enter the product code. And try to leave the name empty. There we can see that the rule we have just defined has just been executed, showing the message the product name cannot be empty. Let's try to complete the rest of the fields. If we confirm, we see that the rule continues to be executed and doesn't allow us to enter a product without a name. There is another rule whose syntax is very similar to the error rule. It's called message. And the only difference between them is that if the condition is met, the message is displayed as a notice or warning and the user can continue working. So let's go back to GeneXus. If, for example, we want to inform that the product price has been left blank without forcing the user to enter it, we can add the following rule in the product transaction. We'll enter SMG. As you can see, a help message is display showing what to place in each part of the rule. Next comes the message, which we have to place again in quotation marks. The product price is empty. And again, the condition will be that the product price is empty. Remember to always close the rules with a semicolon. Press S5 to see the changes. Let's go back to the product transaction. We're going to enter a new product. We'll enter the code. It will be a vitamin supplement. And we're going to try and leave the price empty. As we can see, we get the message that the price of the product can't be empty. But anyway, it allows us to continue working and save the data without any problem. This set of rules could be written in any other order and the result at runtime would be the same because GeneXus decides when each one of the defined rules should be triggered, when the user leaves each field, if the condition is true, etc. Of course, GeneXus offers more rules to define different kinds of validations and actions. Each transaction needs to have its own behavior rules defined.